We can see some of our immune cells by taking a small volume of blood, spreading a drop on a slide and staining it to look down the microscope. You will see straight away that there are a lot of cells in the blood. In fact, each drop contains around 5 million red blood cells and there are 1 to 200 red blood cells for every white blood cell. If we look at higher magnification, you can see some of the types of white blood cells. Here is a monocyte, one of the largest white blood cells, with a big nucleus. Here is a lymphocyte, which is a much smaller cell that also has a round nucleus. There are several different types of lymphocytes that perform different jobs. Here is a neutrophil, which has a very different segmented nucleus and contains lots of toxic granules. In the laboratory, we can isolate the white blood cells from the blood by layering the blood onto a specialised, dense, sugary solution. The blood is then put into a centrifuge and spun at high speed for up to half an hour. This allows the red blood cells to fall through the sugary solution, but the white blood cells stay floating on top. We can then remove the white blood cells and study their function in the laboratory.